Hola and bienvenidos everybody. My name is Nitpick and if you don't know who I am, I'm a flutist and music educator who really enjoys music. Today what we're going to be listening to is a band called Asterism. So I've had this suggested to me a long time ago and I haven't had a chance to really get to it. I decided to get to this and we're just going to jump into the song called Rising Moon. But before we do that, if you really like the channel and you like what you see here, please like and subscribe. There will be more coming, obviously. And also, if you really want to check it out, I also have a link down in the description to a Patreon. There's a bunch of extra content there as well as content that ends up being either globally or partially blocked on YouTube. So if you just happen to be part of those countries, you can see them there. So anyway, let's get right to this. <laughs> I need a moment. <laughs> Whoa, I, the guitar player is insane. The techniques that I hear, I love when guitars do that screeching noise. And what, I, it just sounds so cool that like, if I were to use words to explain how that makes me feel, it just makes me feel like this sense of like power and, in anger in a good way and I love that sound I've always loved the way that sounds there's not a lot of craziness happening happening yet but given the way she's playing I know there's something coming so but it's just the sound that she's giving is insane also the amount of strings on this bass this is not the greatest picture because I can't see exactly but one two three four five six seven that's a lot of strings now okay bass players educate me because again this channel is about ha making and having a conversation about music so i'm not just educating you if i can at all but you're educating me let me know i'm assuming the purpose of having a seven string bass is just have to have more freedom to move around the neck in a vertical manner versus a horizontal manner does it make it a little like easier and like nicer on the wrists and stuff so that we are not having to travel as far this bass looks sick I, i'm not even listening to like chord progressions i'm not listening to anything i'm mainly listening to the the just the musicianship of all three of these people the i love the intro on the drums on this and i love the immediate start like it just immediately starts to get the blood pumping but yeah i love her stance I love that. Yes. And the Ooh, the raise of the guitar. This sound. I love that sound. Ooh. 
Ugh. Yeah, right now I feel like she's just playing with us. She's playing with the emotions right now. Yeah, cuz she's she's playing it simple, quote unquote, simple right now. Listen to the baseline. Cuz I want to Ooh, listen to that bass line. Ooh. Dude, that bass line is sick! Yes! Yeah! The t tapping? Dude! Yeah! I love this! Ooh! I love these, those silent and fills. So return of material? I can't wait for this. Please, I hope it's a bass solo. We had the intro, which is the original return of material, starting back over here um, at about a minute and 47. And what's cool is we have return of material, but we have a little bit of a change in some of the parts. So like, for instance, our guitarist here starts to add a little more to what she was doing in the first place, which again, she's adding on technique to showcase her abilities one step at a time, which is kind of cool. Like her abilities in the beginning already like obviously insane, right? And then we take it a step further. She just starts adding a new musical line to the original opening. And then she has her solo and she just, the chaos, the um, way she's throwing her body, the way she's playing and the, Oh, the, 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 I'm assuming it's called tapping for guitar too. I know I've had, like, I've seen it before. I've seen it in a lot of other videos I've reacted to already. Again, I'm just saying this a lot. I will forget terminology because I'm not a guitarist. One of the instruments I'm very fluent in is violin and flute. Let's go back because I want to show you guys, like, the return of material and the change that she made from the beginning. So, return of material. And then she adds new information here. All of this is semi-new. God. Similar material. And then now, this is the new material. And then the rhythmic. Uh, uh. They're about, do they do it again? I 
I love the rhythmic unisons. Dude, the bass player is sick, dude! Oh, look at her go! Get it. That's right. Now, I don't normally stop that soon, but I want to see that again, like, right away, because now I get it, okay? I get it. Uh, I think I have my answer uh, to my question that I asked earlier. We got to go back. That, that sounds so cool. You know what? Let's just go. We're just going to go back for both of them. I love it. Ah! Ooh. Dude, the amount of stage presence she got. Ooh. All right, all right. Return of material. the ending one more time the amount of action happening from all members of the group is insane like the amount of i'm not i don't even care about chord progression at this point like the chord progression is very simple they're following a very cut and dry chord progression there's nothing crazy happening where this shines is the amount of talent and the amount of action that we're getting from all three members uh, obviously i think there's something else i want to mention here in a lit but i do want to watch the ending again let's go back to about right here at the end of the solo so we got our drummer taking his moment Oh my 
god! They're all individually so on point! Watch her. Watch her! Oh my god, yeah, okay. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I, I don't know the age of this band or the age of the group or whatever, but they all look really young. What I do love about this ending, uh, besides like all the chaos at the end, like the fills from the drummer and just going, he's keeping time in a different way, you know, it's just, he's just filling. And what's cool, as they're ending the song, she's soloing, you can see that insane amount of like, She's going on the strings, like strumming hardcore, like real fast. And then she starts tapping onto the guitar. It's cool because like you can hear her and the bass going in opposite directions. So as the bass player's rising, she's falling. And then they kind of crisscross again and they both start rising at the same time. It's really cool. It's just a, a neat little effect that really brings my ears to, to listen to two different people. If I'm right, correct me if I'm wrong, like... Studio recordings, you know, you have a little more leeway. And I think there's obviously a rhythm guitar in the background, or at least that's what I'm hearing. And I believe she probably recorded or pre-recorded that rhythm guitar, maybe. There's that backtracking, and then there's her on top of that, along with the bass player and along with the drummer. The fact that she's moving around, the bass players, like, they're all having a great time. And she, the amount of stage presence, like, the amount of, like what's up like she's pointing at the camera they're pointing at the sky dude it's like <laughs> it's so cool and she's just like and then i love that that reach up to the sky is like dang dude there's so much happening here talent wise this is like off the wall man it's so good so asterism rising moon amazing stuff i absolutely love this and i can't wait to listen to more. If you'd like to continue the conversation about music, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think I missed. Tell me the techniques that you think I don't understand because again, I like to learn from you guys. Just out of curiosity, does anyone know how old they are? Cause they, they look young. They look really young. <laughs> Again, if you like the channel, please like and subscribe. And if you want to check it out, click on the link in the description below for my Patreon. Anyway, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.